I stepped outside this morning and it was such a beautiful day. And guess what? I'm going to be spending the day inside cleaning my house. But it was all worthwhile at the end. Look how gorgeous it is outside. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica. So I'm starting off with the, the bedroom. And as you can see, it's quite a big mess. I did do a, try and do a little bit of laundry this morning. But I'm going to pack everything away and start off fresh because this is really bugging me. We still don't have a headboard. I keep thinking about you know what kind of headboard must we get and I think we're overthinking it a little bit because at the end of the day we're not making any decisions and it is I mean there we go with a blank canvas at the back over there it, it really is too boring and I know I need to do something about it and it has really been bugging me for quite a while I mean we've been sitting like this or well, yeah you know, with the bed and everything like this for years and it is simply from indecisions and I don't know about you, but it, it, it really drives us crazy when, or drives me crazy when we sit with decisions that have to be made and just because of so many different choices and so many different ifs and whats and buts and all things like that, we just eventually land up not making any decisions at all. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys also have problems like that or certain particular decisions where you just do land up not doing anything simply because it's the decision itself is, is so I don't know vast with with so many different choices and and it becomes really really difficult to even make a proper decision and it's not really cheap either I mean if you think about it um we could probably put a couple of hundred rand into a project or something like that, but we know it's not really going to be sturdy. So we'll probably have to land up spending thousands to have something that is really what what we need and what really suits our purpose and things like that. Um, our bed is incredibly high as well. So it makes a big difference in terms of what we're choosing. We obviously want, don't want to have something that is going to be hidden, basically, Um and we don't want to have something that is standing on a whole bunch of bricks just so that it can be lifted up. Okay, this bothered me really, really, really badly. I forgot that I left a load of washing already in the washing machine. So before I could put another load in, I had to first take that load out, hang it up, and yeah, it kind of messed my routine a little bit, but I was fine at the end of the day. I had to check that basket as well, because I didn't know if everything came off dry the last time that it was in. I'm sorry it was off camera, but I eventually got everything hung up and loaded and everything so my next load of washing is going into the washing machine and I am starting it up again. With that being done back to the bedroom and trying to fold a couple of baskets full of clothing just to make a little bit more space in our room. Our room gets so cluttered up so quickly as soon as there's more than one basket and as you can see there's lots more than one basket. So trying to get that sorted out and through the easiest and quickest way is always getting out the tiles, packing the tiles away, packing out the things that don't need to be ironed. And once that is out of the way, it, the whole room feels a lot better.
time to water up. Okay, next is with the mop. I don't sweep my floors and then mop. I usually just do a straight on mop with a damp uh, mop. It is quite a lot easier just to get all the dust and everything. And you'll see it actually looks quite gross at the end with all the dust, dust particles or in a wet slobbery like over there. Um, but it, it looks a lot better. It is a lot better. It's so much quicker. I mean, it saves so much time too. My little daughter made that for me. Isn't that cute? So now I'm planning on changing my room around. I'm still indecisive as to what, how I'm going to change it around. But I'm tired of having this chair next to the bedside table over here. So I'm thinking of swapping one of the big chest of drawers. Um, but I'll see which way I'll swap it. I'm still indecisive at this stage. So I'm just cleaning a space and I'll swap. Play around with it and see how it works. So the idea was to have the chest of drawers on the right side, hand side of the bed because I thought it would fit better over there. But Hubby had other ideas and he thought that the chest of drawers would look better on the left side of the bed. So I changed everything and we put it on the left hand side of the bed. And guess what? He was right. I was wrong. And that is the end of the story. Now for some better news, I mixed up some olive oil and vinegar and I'm now just cleaning the chest of drawers with that. The vinegar actually cleans quite a lot of the messes and the olive oil makes it nice and shiny and varnished. It looks as if it's varnished and it gives it nice coats and what have you. I always use this for my wooden furniture and it does really do a treat. This chest of drawers actually really needs some serious revamp. Um, I will get to it one day. It is one of the projects that I really want to do. I'm now cleaning the area where the chest of drawers used to be. So it's leaving this horrible space which will then be replaced with the chair. You can see the baseboard is not completely fixed over there. When we did the baseboards we hadn't put this cupboard in so we left space for it we didn't realize that the exact size of this cupboard and therefore we were a little bit short on the baseboard but this is one of the projects one of the many many projects that we have to complete before selling this house and um, it is on our to-do list we will get to it the color on these walls is whimsical white by Plascon. And what I love so much about this is that it changes color depending on the light that is in that room. Um, so it is not necessarily just an off-white. It is also, sometimes it looks a bit more blue. And like in the case of the girls' rooms, it looks a bit more pink because of the curtains that are in there. It just changes things up very nicely. And it is it actually has a fresh feel and a fresh, peaceful feel about it. So that chair over there is one of two of which we have 
in bought with the house we will upholster it one day we will we are determined to try and fix it up so that we don't want to get rid of it we don't want to sell it we do want to fix it up and get it because it is they're very nice decent chairs um and one day we will sort it out and hopefully i'll be able to share that with you too we do have a long list of projects and one day we will get through to everything that basket there is another project it's um a whole bunch of photos that we took down for to get the house painted and I just never put it back up again. Also, one day I'll get to it. The plug on my lamp broke. First it was the shade and now it's the plug. This lamp is definitely going to the trash. I have to get a new one. But it really lasted quite a while so I'm I'm pleased with it but it's gonna be a goner. Now for the kitchen. The whole house looks so much better once the kitchen is sorted. So let's get moving.
So now I'm going to start baking. I've been baking a lot lately and this time it's for my son's birthday. He's not spending much of his birthday with us. He's going out with his friends as would any normal 20 year old. So I am just baking a cake for at home when he does eventually come back from all his parties. And um, and that's what that is basically it. So I'm not rushing anything for a party. I'm not rushing anything for us. When he comes home, he'll have a beautiful cake to have. At, and it will be homemade. That is a perfect, perfect cake. It's a homemade cake. There we go. All finished. Just putting it into two ba baking tins. And then it will go into the oven for about half an hour. Every birthday needs balloons, whether you're basically at home or not for those balloons. So I'm just putting up a few balloons, doing sort of a balloon arch without the arch. It's just going to probably be a stained or something. I'll think about something nice to do. Um, and it will probably most likely just be next to his desk. So when he walks in, he can see this but without it being in the way. I just want to do something fancy like that um, without, not, without being too fancy sort of just reminding him that we know it's his birthday and we're celebrating. So hubby got some of one of these LED balloons and I was so scared of these things because one of the safety instructions or safety warnings on the packets was do not let the balloon burst in your face. And the more I am blowing these things up, the more I am thinking about this thing is going to blow up in my face. But <laughs> not one of them did, but it was still, it was quite freaky. Now the cakes are done and I'm just going to fill it with some caramel treats as well as obviously the normal butter icing. I'm really not good at this but each time I try I do get a bit better and better each time so I suppose this particular thing is practice makes perfect so guess I'm going to be baking more cakes and icing them more And just a recap of everything we've done today thank you so much for watching and i really do hope that you subscribe and like this video so that you can watch more content like these i hope this was motivating thank you bye bye